Parachute style dry flies are in my opinion more interesting than regular front hackle dries. Not only do I enjoy tying them, but they also tend to sit correctly on the surface more often. This particular fly is an imitation of a small mayfly, and one can easily tell that, that, that this does not only flow well, but it also has great hooking capabilities due to no obstructions by the hook point. Many people struggle with tying flies with a parachute style hackle and what seems to be the most common issue is to tie off which is commonly made around the post or at the eye of the hook. Since tying off around the wing makes for a clean hook eye without obstructive waste I tend to use this method for all of the parachutes I dry. Since I'm only displaying the technique of making a parachute style hackle, I will just make a wing and a hackle, not a completely dressed fly. Start off as usual and choose the point where you want the wing to sit and I've chosen to use a, a green poly yarn as wing. What I do is I tie it in on top of the shank with four or five tight turns of thread. What I then do is I fold the two halves together and I bring my thread up Sorry. Bring my thread up and around the yarn. And then take my thread down to the hook again. And there is the base for the wing. What I can do is to trim away some excess of the wing to make it more easy to handle. And now it's time to tie in the hackle. And I've chosen a dyed grizzly. I've dyed this myself. I'm pleased with the length of the fibers. So what I do is I strip off some fibers from the stem. And this is the point where I'll tie the material in. I place it just by the wing. And I joined the lot by bringing my thread up on the wing. What I do with this piece is I, to secure the hackle, I tie it in at the front of the wing and I bring the waist around the post like so and now I can just trim away that piece now as it's time to wind the hackle around the wing make sure to place your thread on your side of the hook and this is optional I, I uh, like to use hackle pliers for this but if you feel more comfortable by just holding the feather with your fingers do that 
while keeping the wing stretched. Start winding the hackle around the post in, an, in a horizontal level and place every turn just below the previous like so. And when you're pleased with the amount of hackle, take the feather and just fold it straight down and maintain tension on the feather, do not let go, and take your thread up and just below the hackle. like so. And for the third wrap I take the thread under the piece of the feather there and now I can let go. So what I do now is I'm securing the hackle against the wing itself instead of securing it around the eye of the hook. And here's a trick. When trimming away this piece of hackle, take the thread to the far side of the hook. So when you come in with your scissors, it's not too close to snipping off your thread. Sorry. Like so. Now I only have to with finish this and to make it easier for me I will try the wing even further. I take my whip finish and just make one single half hitch around the post. Once I've done that I can venture by doing more of more turns. Make sure you don't catch any hackle fibers. Come in with your scissors and just trim off. The wing looks terrible, but hopefully you'll get the idea of how it's made.